Hi there and welcome to this walkthrough video where we're going to be looking at the new Midas Method 3 betting software. Now this has been promoted uh, quite heavily recently and so I managed to get myself access and we're going to take a round so you can actually see what is inside this betting software and how it works. Um, now, it's also important to point out, uh, because I didn't understand this until I spoke to uh, the team behind the Midas method, that the selections which they send via email are different to the software here, which is actually the primary service that they're offering. Um, the selections which are sent via email are, are kind of an additional benefit, but the primary service is based around their software. So when you log in, uh, you come into this website. The software is all um, based on the cloud. It's all online. So you don't have to install or download anything. We've got this nice welcome page here, which gives us the usual kind of nice hello. And can you open some bookmaker accounts and Betfair accounts? Uh, we have a link here to the instruction manual, which I've already opened up over here. And then we have a link to the uh, the betting software and underneath we've got the the step which says don't forget to check your emails Tuesday Thursday and Saturday for our Midas Pro tips and it actually says here that this is a completely new way to profit and it's separate from the software so uh, it's important to point out that the tips are sent via email are separate from the software and it's actually the software which is their main service and what we're going to be looking at today. Um, so around the websites we've got an odds converter, free bet, some news and an FAQ. I mean, all of this is pretty uh, much similar to what you would get anywhere so I'm not really going to worry about these. What we're interested in is the betting software itself. Now when you come to the betting software page you get an option of three servers which are quite like. Um, this means that the software is hosted in three different places and if one is running a bit slowly, maybe it's a bit busy, uh, then you've got another two that you can try and they also have a fourth one for emergencies. Um, so, but usually most of these in the time that I've been trying work absolutely fine so let's just open it with uh, the server one and you can see here that the software just opens immediately now what the Midas method does is it's um, a method of betting that uses either forecast odds um, or uh, early morning market odds to determine the move between those early morning odds which is time one and the current time and we can see how much the odds have moved in percentage so smiling stranger uh, was forecast to be odds of six it's currently 3.6 so it's had a minus 48 percent move that means it's moved down the odds have dropped by 48 um, percent and that's what the software is based around uh, using this approach. Now there are a number of approaches you can use with it um, and the default one is called the Midas Before Racing System and all the instructions for that are in your manual and the manual is really clear I have to say it's really nice it's really well written uh, it's clean it's easy to follow. Um, so we've got all the instructions in the manual here and I'm just going to um, come back to the software because I've already been through that so I can talk you through the basics of it and how it actually works. So we can select systems here which have the default settings and if we click on a race, a 740 which will be going off any time, um, we can see here the move percentage. Now under my selections um, the default my selections will find from all of the markets uh, the selections that have moved by over 40 percent I'm just having a look here um, 750 Southern Urban Storm here we are and we can see Urban Storm has moved 43 percent um, the reason it's not showing the 741s is because essentially that race is 
just gone you can see here 740 and 11 seconds so that's why it's not showing any of those it's sort of frozen that now uh, and at the moment the only other race that's got selections in is the 750 and this selections tab makes it really easy to see that we can see the initial odds the current odds and how much it's moved so we can bet and obviously in the manual you're given advice on whether to back or place your bets each way on these selections. I mean, it says primarily that we should back them, uh, movements that are over 40%, and this monitors it really nicely here. Um, however, we can go in and change the settings. We've got a nice settings page here, so we can adjust the percentage that we want. We are happy for selections to be come in. You can see here that we're happy for a drop of 40% up to 500% and we can also set odds ranges and by default the odds range max is odds of 20 um, over here we can choose um, when the start and end time is either minutes before the race or actual time of day um, we've got filters here for number of runners and race types the maximum number of selections per race now that is also important what this means is if this is selected to single then if there are more selections that meet the criteria in a race than one it won't show any of them it will only show you a selection when there is just one that has met the criteria um, do you want to include non-runners yes or no which countries uh, and then you can also filter by race distances as well so there's a nice range of things here um, and these odds here these allow you to choose always to use William Hill or Betfair or the best and the first time can be taken from forecast odds or the odds on either Betfair or William Hill at 9 in the morning so the settings are all very simple and easy to understand and the principle behind this this uh, process this selection process is to find out who is betting on um, and follow good money so the idea is is that if there's just one horse in a race that has moved significantly whose odds have shortened significantly then there is good money on this horse and it could be one to bet on um, so as a piece of software this all works really well it's very efficient and in the guide there are also some other strategies they give you some bonus strategies as well um, there's a live racing system which uses a similar principle just in the minutes leading up to a race rather than prior and rather than having to change all the settings yourself we can just go to systems press the live and it will automatically do that for us and when we first load up a race it can take a moment or two for it to refresh and then here we go and we can see here there is urban storm again um, but also pack leader uh, was in the 740 we obviously just caught that data um, so and this will refresh repeatedly up to the start of the race uh, and I'm not going to go into how you use this because obviously that is part of the method um, but all the details again are in in the guide about how to use this approach and then there is also a steamer and a drifter system and they're all based on a similar principle but looking at it from a slightly different angle uh, so it's up to you to, to choose the one that you're most comfortable with or use them all um, and implement those and test them for yourself and obviously you can also test the settings um, selections can be exported by CSV which is very useful as well so you can just download those for your records very quickly and you can play around with some of the settings so overall I mean I like this software I like what it does uh, what it says it does uh, it does it efficiently it's clean it's very easy as you can see to get around um, it's easy to change the settings you've got four pre-built systems already in it obviously you can change the settings and make your own as well uh, if you want to to try and adjust it and increase your profits and it's easy to log in because it's online you can access it from anywhere um, and overall it's a nice clean impressive website and of course the question is does it make profits now I haven't been following the selections from this software uh, specifically so I can't answer that question but I will load up 
uh, a copy of the results that the developers make available uh, to everyone at any time. So let me just load those up now. Okay, so here are the results and they're obviously updated frequently. Um, I literally just downloaded these before making the video. And if we go straight to the bottom, we can see that they're updated up to the 17th. So they're only two days behind. Um, they're obviously not updated uh, automatically, otherwise they'd be fully up to date. So, um, but they're updated by the developers and the product owners frequently. Now, as I say, I haven't been following these selections myself. Um, so I, I can't say whether they're matching exactly, although I wouldn't see any reason for them to, to make that up. But um, we can see here that so far this month, uh, according to these results, has been a 44.71 unit profit. Uh, and then they've got that there to different stakes levels. We've also got the April selections here, uh, and that actually had slightly less than has already been made in May. 40.73 units profit um, but more interestingly for me is the strike rate I mean that's not on here so I want to just calculate that quickly um, so if we do um, a quick sum here uh, so this counts the number of winners and I'm just going to copy that and count the number of losers. So let me just mark these off here. So we've got winners and losers. And then we can do a, a simple sum to add those together. So there's been 171 bets so far in May. And of those bets, the strike rate has been just over 25%. Let me add a couple of decimals in there so there we are we can see that's been just over 25 percent and now let's take the return on investment i mean we know that um this made 44.71 units so we can take 44.71 divided by the number of bets and we can see the return on investment has been just over 26 percent so this is a pretty impressive figure. These are quite nice stats, and if it continues to perform in this manner, um, then that's very, very positive. Uh, and let's just take that and copy it over into April's results to see what we get. We can see in April, actually, the strike rate was higher, but the return on investment was similar, uh, which is the more interesting thing. The return on investment is stable. The strike rate is high. Um, so overall my view is uh, that software is clean it does what it says it's very easy to use it's very easy to log in and you can log in from any computer um, you can log in from an iPad as well it should work no problems on an iPad uh, probably will even work on a mobile phone although I haven't tested it um, while I haven't been following the selections myself if uh, they produce the results that are available um, to users for records then this looks to be very strong uh, as long as it continues. A high strike rate will mean that the downswings are low and it's making a very healthy return on investment following the staking that is advised in the user guide. And that's very simple. I mean, that's very, very simple. It's essentially flat betting um, to win. So they give you the option of using each way and explain how you can do that um, but these results are done to win so um, I hope you've enjoyed watching this walkthrough video and it's given you a bit of an idea of what is actually available inside this Midas method betting software um, thank you very much for watching if you want to get more details about the software you can click on the button below and take a look at their site where they give you all the information and if you've got any questions from my walkthrough of their software leave me a comment and i'll do my best to answer them and thank you very much for watching and i look forward to seeing you in the next video goodbye for now